Hello everyone, welcome back to another How to Play Forest Village video. In this episode, we are going to be talking about how to survive the first year. So, let's get started. So I'm going to just play this. I usually like to, oh actually I'm going to pause it first because whenever you start a new world, you have one person <laughs> that doesn't have a home. We have six adults, two teenagers, and two babies, but we only have um, nine spots for them to live. Three in each, which would be small three. So we have one extra person that doesn't have a house. If someone doesn't have a house, they will eventually die of starvation. And if it's cold, they will also freeze to death. They, they don't go into each other's houses to warm up or anything they can't go in here to warm up or to eat they have to have a house to do that so I need to make sure that I have a home for ah. this person really before I do anything else and I tend to like the small houses more than the shacks the shacks take a lot less resources but the small houses this these houses can hold five instead of three and then it makes people happier and it has a higher chance of people having babies than the shacks do. So I tend to go for the small houses. While we're paused, I'm going to pick a spot to put this. Now if you are playing for the first time, if you're not pushing shift, the size of it changes, even though it says 10 by 10, it will change slightly depending on where you're putting it. If you push shift, it just does the 10 by 10 only, and it doesn't take up extra space, which is nice. So I'm gonna put this here. They are going to need to terraform and get rid of some stuff before they can do it, but it shouldn't be too long. So I'm going to do that. Let's go into the professions here, and I like to have this up all the time so I can see where everybody is at. But we're going to need at least one builder, maybe two. I like to have two to start just to get this done faster. And then while they are doing that, I'm also going to just get some resources. I'm going to gather. Let's do everything right up here first just because then they don't have to go so far. Now, once there is a house, they will start having babies to fill the house. This house is better than the shacks, so people want to live there more. They'll take people out of these and move them into there um, first, and then as they have babies, then they will eventually have to have babies in here, but this is the preferred place to live, so they try to fill this up first. We have one spot left in this one, but I'm actually going to pause one of these. We have 10 people and we have 14 spots, so if I leave all of these open, then we are actually going to get babies pretty quickly, and we don't have a whole lot of food yet, so I don't want to grow our population that fast. So I'm going to pause one of these. Now normally what I look for, the children, if you pause or destroy their house, the children will die, but the teenagers will not. So I'm going to take out this one. I'm going to pause it for now and we'll, we'll deal with destroying it later, but if it's paused, they can't live there. So now we have three people in here, three people in here, four people in here. And even though we have 14 spots available, because this is paused, we only have spots for 11 people. So we can get one more person right now. So our population won't grow too quickly, which will be nice. This symbol means that there's not food in the house, but that's because it just got built. So um, once I unpause this, they will go over here to this and they'll grab some firewood because it's cold and they will grab some food and then they can eat in there. So let's do that. We're also going to need to start thinking about what kind of food we're going to want to get. So they already have food and stuff in there. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of stuff yet, but the nice thing is that the gatherer's hut is a good place to start with food because they pick fruits and vegetables up. Um, so I think that this is where they were coming down. So we're going to put the gatherer like somewhere in here. I also don't want to have to do a whole bunch of terraforming yet. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully they can get to it. I'm going to play it so they can do that and then we're going to put one person in there maybe two actually uh, just to get a bunch of extra fruits and vegetables while it's warm enough because they can't gather that once it gets too cold they can only do it the same time that the farms can go so as long as it's 32 degrees or above they can gather but once it gets below that then they stop gathering this will be good to start off with and then we probably are going to want to do a hunting shack as well Maybe I'll just do it right next to it. 
We're also going to want to put a well over here because the well provides water. They can't go to the lake and get water. They have to get it from a well. And so let's say this gatherer's hut caught on fire. They would have to walk all the way up to this well to get water and then take it all the way back down. And it would end up um, probably mm -hmm. burning before they actually put the fire out. So we're going to also put a well over here. And they're already expecting a baby. So I'm gonna put this down to two. I'm gonna put two people in here just to get as many fruits and vegetables as we can while we're growing. Our fish is already dropping, so it'll be nice hopefully to get the hunter shack up and get some meat. We're probably gonna want to also have a fishing hut soon. It's better to do a fishing hut where the water's deeper. I'm wondering if maybe here would be good. It's a long walk though, I don't know. Is there any space closer? Maybe I'll have to wait on the fishing hut. Now, eventually I am going to get rid of these shacks and just put houses in because these are just not as economical, really. They um, use more firewood in these smaller houses than they do in the other ones because they hold the heat in as well. And then they have less babies quickly, which isn't the end of the world, but when you're trying to grow a population, it's nice to get babies faster. And they're just not as happy when they do this. Happiness helps them be more productive. Okay, I'm gonna put one person into here. Have we gathered? Let me see what this person's hmm. doing. Okay, so we got all the stuff that I um, put together. So we'll get some more stuff here. So already we have 87 vegetables. We had some more fruit, but they've been eating it. Maybe I will put a fish farm here and ramp this up. And we have that new baby. Are they done building the well? They are. I'm gonna have them destroy this building. Um, and then we're gonna play that, so they're gonna destroy that. So that's good. This ramp is done. They're gonna be able to come down here a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Okay, now I think the ramp ends like right here. So they should be able to get down here. Let me see if that's true. I'm gonna put a fisherman's lodge over here. We'll see if that works. Yeah, perfect. So the ramp is there. It helps them get down there. And then after that, I'm going to put another house over here, I think. Um, so I'm going to turn it facing towards the town. And then just want to make sure to leave a space for them to walk into the other house. Once this one's built, I'm going to pause this one. So I might wait on the fish. Um, until winter because um, right now I'm focused on getting the fruits and vegetables and then in the winter we can't get that so we'll have to have fish a fisherman and a hunter going. okay let's see if they can get the the uh, wood from here first if they can then I'm going to see where I should build a ramp um, you know what I forgot about? The lumberjack. So the lumberjack is how they get firewood. And right now we're fine. We have 306 firewood. But it's fall, so it's starting to get cooler. The colder it gets, the more firewood they use. I need to build this before the winter so that they have a way to make firewood. Oh, I need to pause this. This is five and five and three. So we have 13 spots and we have 11 people. So we've got two more spots available. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put this down to one for now. I'll put somebody in there just to make sure we have firewood started. Even though we're not using it yet. It's 41 degrees, so it'll happen soon. Getting a decent amount of meat. I mean, not a crazy amount, but enough to where the fact that we are losing fish isn't as big of a deal. I mean, we're also growing the population some, so we're going to want to get more stuff soon. Okay, now that this is done, I think I'm going to put another ramp here just to make sure they can have an easier time getting up and down. Okay, so it's 30 degrees. I'm pretty sure that these people mm -hmm. can't gather right now. Oh, they're getting a little bit. So I'll wait until they don't, they don't have anything to grab and then and then I will take them out. Wow, I'm surprised they're still getting stuff. Maybe I wonder what temperature they stop gathering. Okay, so now they don't they're not gathering anything, so it must be too cold. So I'm going to take them out of here and we're going to put them into the fish. We're up to 12 people. 
I'm gonna want to start a farm soon so that in the spring we can grow. We're gonna take down this shack. And we're gonna put another person in here. Okay, let's see if we can terraform this in a way that will make it available to put farms there. We're not gonna be able to put other stuff there, but farms will work. Wait a minute, I swear that I demolished it. How many people we got? Okay, we still got 13, or 12, so it's less than 13. Okay. Hopefully they can get on here, even if it's just on the one corner. It's better than nothing. Although it looks like they can walk up this too, but... It does some weird stuff when you terraform. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna make at least one farm, maybe two. Okay, um... Do a farm. Fish isn't dropping like it was, so that's good. Actually, it's going up a little bit. We're doing okay on vegetables, but we're gonna want to do... I'm thinking... This one is potato, and then this one as... Let's do grass to start. We don't need oats yet, because we don't have any animals, and that they're the only ones that eat the oats. And then uh, flax, we don't have a weaver workshop yet, and we're not really getting that started yet, so there's not really a point of that. And we don't have a bakery, so there's we can't really use the wheat. So for now, we will just do potato and grass. We'll have enough, so hopefully we can make some more buildings uh, next year. It's early spring starting to get warmer so I'm going to take somebody out of the fish farm and put them into gathering right now and then I'm going to take somebody off of building and put two farmers in so they can get this going and hopefully the gatherer will get some fruit they usually get both a little bit of both but we don't have any orchards right now so there's no way for us to get fruit unless they gather it and as it gets warmer they will be able to travel farther away to get the animals or the fish or whatever it is um, when it's cold they just go there for a short time and come back to warm up so I'm gonna take somebody out of here Wow, we survived our first year in Lytus Feudal Forest Village. To summarize, I would say some of the most important things to worry about when you're first starting out in the first year of Lytus Feudal Forest Village is making sure that you have enough houses for the people that you have in your village, finding food sources, gathering the wood and the other resources, and then mm -hmm. making sure you have a lumberjack lodge before winter so that you can get firewood. Usually you're not going to have enough time to get the farms going in the first year, so making sure you have them going in the second year is a good idea. But I think that that's going to be it. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this episode and you want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, please push the like button. And I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment below.